What is happening, guys? Welcome back. Sorry about that. My friend Jimmy took over the last episode. I kept trying to tell him that, you know, people wanted to see a dark build, and he just was insistent on showing off his, his poise thing. I mean, the guy has a boner for poise, but, you know... He does get the job done. And I don't know why, but I feel like it's suddenly a lot louder than it was. The game seemed like louder killing those knights. Anyway. So, uh, we're back. We're looking good now. Got uh, an extra point in vitality. Jimmy didn't level me up enough, so I had to get one more. But there we go. We can now roll. I think these are going to be our final ring loadouts as well. Favor, Sage for the cast time, Adversity for that ridiculous FP gain. And then Unholy Remains because it's just goofy strong. I gotta say, I'm still kind of disappointed that Greater Soul Drakes isn't more of a bomb, you know? Like, compared to compared to how fast we can attack with uh, Black Serpent, like, Black Serpent just claps. What's that? I don't know. I might... I didn't put on that other ability I got that, uh... Jimmy picked up for me, so I kind of want to try that out. No, that's right. I don't go through this door. It's been that long since I've done an Orlando. Oh, it's, it's this way? Yeah, it is. Saint's Veil and Saint's Dress. What the hell is that? Oh. That's, that's Crosby Priscilla gear. That's interesting. There's something on like behind one of these. Thought there was no, yeah, there definitely is, right? No, no, just Dark Souls memory fucking with me. Maybe it's Dark Souls one that has that. Yeah, I mean Black Black Serpent. I think that still falls in the realm of of being a dark mage, but it just seems so much better, you know? Like I wanted to. Um, to do more dark magic, but like the reality of the situation is Black Serpent goes out super fast and uh, it just, it claps. Like that's near instant, dude. Like I throw that out and it's, it's on the guy. Because this, I mean, it's not hitting as hard, and it's taking quite some time to execute. It's also AoE. Like, I could probably hit all three of these guys at one. Yeah, that's fucking cool. What's weird is it has to be more dark-based than fire. Because if it was fire, those guys would have died instantaneously. So there's definitely a strong... Um, it's, it's dark damage we're doing. But it just... I don't know. Maybe a forgotten pendant. Let's see. That seemed pretty much identical to me. I still like soul drags, but there's all this talk about people using soul drags and getting like 1500 damage hits. Like I know I'm missing the the dark blindfold mask. I know I'm missing dark clutch ring. But I feel like I have a bunch of other things that boost dark, and they're just not not quite boosting. Uh, 
much as I would have hoped. Iced. Nice, some chunks. I think I can upgrade my scythe more. spider got just clapped. Alright, so I'm a little bit low on healing, but... I think we can pull this off. I mean, we're, we're doing a lot of damage right now. Feeling good. I want to say Aldrich has a weakness to fire. So, if we were ever going to Bend them on down and take them out. Now is the time to do it. Hey, there's more drags we can upgrade now. Oh, Black Serpent will do anything to his ass, to be honest, but we'll find out once we're in there. If I really want to be cheeky, I could always go for the, uh... Go for the silence approach. I want to hit him with a black serpent to see. Oh, wow. Alright, so black serpent's not going to do much, which makes sense. He's basically a born of the abyss, I think. Actually, I don't, I don't know 100% the lore behind Aldrich. Um... One. I don't want to use any more than that just because I'm down to my last ember, though. I'm thinking if I just stay on him, and I can pull this off fine. Ah, damn it, fatty. So I'm not seeing a ton of damage, but I think I'm seeing enough that I can make it what happen. surprised how much damage his spells are doing considering it's a uh... Might get me killed. Nope, yep. Damn it. Had a feeling that was about to happen. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna make this easy mode. Um, because it's not often that I have high enough faith to do this. So we're gonna go back to town first. I 
This is honestly one of my favorite things to do against Aldrich, because it's it's just hilarious. So for those that have never fought Aldrich with uh, Vow of Silence before, you want to talk about trivializing a boss fight? It doesn't get much better than this. Shit. No, wait. No, 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 no. She, no, she shouldn't be dead yet. That's right. Aren't you behind a hidden wall now or something? Damn it, she's gone. Just had fucking Braille Divine Tome. Which I'm pretty sure, if I remember, that's the one I had to give her to get the shit I wanted. Ah, fuck. Oh, I never let out Grey Rat either. Uh, Have enough chunk. One chunk short. Well, maybe I picked it up. She shouldn't be dead by now. No, I did gave her the I gave her the dark book. If you give her the dark book, she usually goes to shit. Fuck. Well, <clears throat> whatever. I mean I'm confident I can do this fight. I just need to not get cooked by magic damage. Actually, I don't know if he's, his damage is considered magic or dark. But let me change up some rings, considering this is a fight that I'm gonna win via melee. Um you can come off. You can come off. You can come off. Instead, we'll go with you. Go. Oh, there's the dragon scale ring. Maximum FP. Um. Oh. See that? Um. What do I want here? Endurance and then vigor. Go at it like it's almost like it's a uh, strength battle. It's dark, yeah. He can't be dark. It has to be magic because I have some hexing gear, some of the best dark resists in the game. And I'm getting cooked by this shit. It's gotta be... It's gotta be magic-based damage. Which is odd, because it's... Aldi, Aldi, Aldi. What am I gonna do with you? Could go heavier armor. But only if the defense is comparable to what I got. I'm just getting eaten alive by the arrows and the dark spells right now. Um, let's see here. Well, if it's magic, there's plenty of things that... You know what? Just, just out of curiosity... Of that. There's a sorcerer. That's there we go. Sorcerers and I don't know. Going into this like it's a uh, elemental. 
elemental battle. But so what I wanted to do is you can use Vow of Silence and just silence him at the start of this fight. And it's fucking hilarious, because it literally he can't do anything. He can't he can't uh can't do his his thingy where he makes little bullshit orbs to chase you. He can't do his rain. Like it leaves him basically a crippled you know it's a small crippled example of what he used to be. Magic damage based. Because we're, we're taking way less damage now from it. Today. No. Oh wow, even the rain is way less. God damn, dude. That's awesome. God, that's crazy. Who would think that there was that much of a difference switching to magic defense? Wow, that was that was very, very significant. Um, I don't think I even need that on, to be honest. Um, I need you on. Where's that big boy at? My skull at, there it is. Dark pyromancies. Sorceries, pyromancies. No, I want that FP gen. FP gen, where are you at? FP gen there. So I feel like even without the upgrade, that's still super fast. Like, disgustingly fast. Alright, let's go check. I've heard that Life Hunt Scythe is supposed to be, like, really spicy now, so I want to go take a peek at that. I probably won't get it simply because my staff can cast Dark Sorceries and Dark Pyros and not Miracles, so I don't really want to double up on something, but... Consideration. Anyway, uh, so Life Hunt Scythe and... Um, where? Dark Moon Longbow still, okay. Now, now. So we'll just eat your soul. Num, num, num. Soul about riches. Num, num, num. In my belly. Num, num, num. Soul about riches. Nice, we're almost at that peak. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, fuck me. Just barely over on weight. Yep. Alright, I can I'll do that for now. It's fine. Um I do wanna check let's see. Now, what am I doing? Spells. Great deep soul pursuing. Alright. Sorry for this, but you need to be a damage test. 888. The hell? How fucking hard is it to hit her? Great Deep Soul will not hit Waifu. 549. 414. Huh. Seventy, let's see, sixty-three, fifty, forty-three. Powerful, dark and soul sediment. Holy, soul sediment. I mean, this has pierce. And what was the damage difference between these two? Five forty-nine, fourteen. So it's like a hundred and fifty more. I think I would take that 
given the the difference between them. Great Deep Soul. This is disgusting. This is my nuke. And then uh, Flame Arc. And let's go down into the Water Reserve. And I think I'm actually... I might join the, the Covenant. I think the Covenant is probably pretty significant now in terms of the Dark Boosts. So I haven't actually tried that out. Boost dark damage. So that should boost all my dark damage. And dregs. Archdeacon's long staff. Archdeacon's EED. Battle Staff, once used by the Archdeacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slam Staff into the ground to awaken it, then follow with a strong attack to trigger a Rora, a Blessing, or Vexation. What? The fuck is this thing? That's like a katana move set. But with a big sweep on it. Oh no, it's like the malformed skull thing. In terms of AR potential, I mean it's unupgraded. And it's at two twelve already. Awaken it, follow with a strong attack. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? This is, um... This thing's pretty fucking cool. I might actually try using this for a bit. Because <clears throat> I know there's like the Malformed Skull. And this seems like it's basically keyed towards dark builds. I mean, Christ, it has... It has a... Uh, scaling and Faith, D.E.D. It has dark damage that's already in it. Weight is less than the... I wonder. Let me, um... Uh, Ashen one. Let, me, uh, let me take a little look here. See what happens if I infuse this. So if I infuse you with fire, you would have fire and dark damage and DD scaling. And if I make you dark, so it's 70 26 in both instances. If I go dark, oh, 539. 7026. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. I feel like we might have a absolute powerhouse of a weapon right here. Now we need more Twinkling Titanite, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna try it instead of the... Because, I mean, it's, it's only at 292, but it's like pure elemental... Let me, I'll just, let me, I'll just play with it for a little bit. <clears throat> that really like, <clears throat> god damn, my throat. I really like the idea of being able to do split damage with it. And since it weighs less, uh, it do, uh, where the hell's my other thing at? Yeah, it is. It's healing and it's doing that fire damage.
pretty cool looking. Um, let's see what kind of damage my shit's doing now. 641? Fuck, dude. Just out of curiosity... I mean, I'm probably not going to use Great Soul Drags just because of the slow wind-up time on this. Alright, it is over a thousand. I mean, that's good. It's really good, but still... You know, it's 63 a use. And this is 50. I think this is a better bet. Our Black Serpent probably cooks shit now. Yeah, 1549. Black Serpent is our nuke. Alright, so Aldi is dead. Um, Could go... You know what? Let's go finish up Demon Ruins. I actually have enough... Uh, <clears throat> I have enough, like, dark potency now that I think we can tackle that area pretty easily. So, we are going to wrap things up. And we will go through the Demon Ruins in the next part. Give me a chance to get a feel for if I want to use this thing over the uh, over the scythe. I like the scythe, but I wonder can how. All right, so it doesn't show effects, but it's up to 456, which is comparable to what my scythe is at. So this might be pretty good. Anyway, stay tuned, and we'll be bebopping around the next part.